in this episode, I'm on the road and I want you to move forward without regrets. The sun is shining, the birds are chirping, the bacon is sizzling. Welcome to the Daily Swole. Welcome everyone to episode 203 of The Daily Mother Suo. I am traveling swole on the road, so unfortunately, Facebook is really, really stingy when it comes to live broadcasting, so the actual signal is weaker. That way, uh, thus, I cannot broadcast live. But what I can do is still deliver to you episode 203 and just upload right now. After. So this is episode 203 of The Daily Mother Swole, and this is staying sexy during the holidays. Staying holiday sexy. Now one of the biggest things that you have to deal with now is it's Friday, it's the day after Thanksgiving, it is Black Friday. But it doesn't have to be Fat Friday. You have leftovers galore, you have this whole mentality of relax, family, off the schedule, you're off from work, you're doing whatever you want to do. The most important thing you could do now is get your mind back right into your routine. Just because it's a holiday, just because it was Thanksgiving yesterday, doesn't give you the excuse or the right, or should you just take off and let everything that you've worked so hard for to this point go to waste. I have a lot of people that are following me that are inspired by my videos, that have learned a lot about fitness and have taken control of their lives and started to lose weight, started to make changes. This is the time to do it. A lot of people, and maybe you're inc you included, a lot of you may be looking for the New Year's to make your resolutions, waiting for January 1st to start fresh. The problem is that leaves you about another month, month and a half of eating like shit, of sliding downhill. There is no reason. There is no reason whatsoever to wait. One of the biggest myths, one of the biggest problems with fitness is this New Year's resolution bullshit. The fact that people wait until a certain date to start. Waiting to a certain date to start is absolutely ludicrous. There's no reason whatsoever that you should be waiting till January 1st. Today is your January 1st. Now is the time. Staying holiday sexy is a mindset. It's a mindset to, if you indulge, don't overeat. Stay on your routine. You're gonna have a lot of days off. You're gonna have a lot, a lot of vacation times. If you celebrate Hanukkah, if you celebrate Christmas, celebrate Kwanzaa, whatever the hell you do, you're gonna have a lot of days off work. You're gonna have the kids home from school. You're gonna have a routine that is not routine. You're gonna have a new situation at hand that you're gonna have to deal with. The problem, it lies with your your brain. Your brain, you're no different. Your body is no different than yesterday, than last week. Your situation, your financial situation is no different than yesterday. Your ability, your gym membership isn't canceled because it's Friday, because it's Black Friday. Nothing changes from day to day like that. You have the ability. You have the ability to make this point. You have the ability to make this to make the stand, to make the stand in your life and in your routine that you are going to maintain the status quo, that you're gonna continue forward, that you are going to not let corporate America, not let society, not let commercialism, not let consumerism dictate how you handle your business. Just because there might be a special at a restaurant, just because people like to make ham and eat pie and ice cream and garbage around this time, there are a lot of people that don't deserve what you have been working so hard for. They don't deserve it because they haven't put the time into it. They haven't had that epiphany yet. They haven't had that switch over in their brain that makes them want to change their life. Don't let other people, don't let family members, don't let friends, don't let those around you peer pressure you and dictate what you have been working hard for, what you deserve, what you plan for yourself. This is your time. Your time in your life is now. It's never been a better time for you to take a stand, for you to make a difference in your life. It has to be your decision. No matter, oh, it's so beautiful out. But this, this makes you really appreciate life so much more. The beautiful breeze, the hot sun, the lack of humidity. Appreciate what you have the ability to accomplish now. Appreciate the fact that you have the ability 
to make a difference in your life. You have the ability to make a difference in your life. You have the ability to make a difference in your life starting right now. Not tomorrow, not next week, now. You can do this today. You can stay on your routine today. You can make this happen today. This is not something that has to wait till next week. This is not something that has to wait till next month. This is not something that has to wait until January 1st. This is something, life is not stopping. Human beings made up January 1st. This calendar, we made it up. We made it up. This is created by us. This is our decision. You have the ability to make your calendar the way you want to make it. Today is your January 1st. If you can be on point, if you can focus, if you can stay on your routine, if you can create a routine in this time zone, in this time frame around Thanksgiving, around Hanukkah, around Christmas, around New Year's, if you can do this now, you can do this forever. Portion control, working out consistently, staying on your schedule regardless of everyone else's that changes, keeping true to what you want, keeping your eyes on your goal, and you will have it. If you could do this now, this is your challenge, if you could do this now, I guarantee you can get everything you want out of fitness. This is the hardest time of year because everyone around you and everything, commercials, TV, friends, family, neighbors, everyone's pulling the other direction. Everyone wants you to, oh, have some pie, have some cookies at work. People are bringing in bullshit. People are bringing in garbage. Oh, I cooked this at home. My wife baked this. My blah, blah, blah. Bringing in donuts, bringing in cake, bringing in leftovers. Stay strong. Stay on your course and you will have it. I guarantee it. If you can do it now, you can do it forever. Stay sexy. Stay with me on my swole trip for episode 204 tomorrow. Thank you for joining me for episode 203. I'll see you tomorrow for episode 204 of The Daily Mother Swole. Peace out and enjoy the rest of your Friday. Stay strong, stay in your routine. Let's get it.